Hello guys, in this video we will try to solve a problem on development of the lateral surface of a cone. The question will be something like this. Construct the productions of a development of a surface of a cone with 45 mm base diameter and 75 mm axis. Standing on its base on HP, it cuts by a sectional plane 30 degrees inclined to HP and bisecting the axis. Almost like the cylindrical case which I have seen in the previous. So let, let us see how it will be looking like. It will be something like this. So this is a paper which is turned into a cone. As you can see these lines, these lines are the imaginary lines which are not basically present but we assume them to be there so it will be useful for the development of the surface. So how do you draw this angular line which is there or the paper or whatever this shape is there, how do you draw it, this is what we are going to see now. So first let me finish the solid question until this point, uh, open the AutoCAD. So since this question is also having with its base on horizontal plane, I am drawing a straight line like say 100 mm and uh, I will draw the top of this cone, the question is of uh, 45 mm base diameter. So come to the AutoCAD, so select a circuit and uh, select a D enter, diameter is 45. This is the 45 mm diameter, uh, top view of the cone. Coming to the next thing, we can simply draw the projections from this point to this point. Here, also simply from the base point to base point. Uh, whatever this is the X point, that is the axis for the axis length. So now the axis, axis is how much? It is 75 in the question. So this is 75 enter. And now since this is a cone, we don't draw straight lines from here to the top like this. Rather, we draw a straight line in a curved way, uh, the angular way like this. So this is the shape of the top view. So these two lines and this bottom line will be visible to us. So therefore, I'm giving some line weight to it. As well as this circle is visible to us, so I'm giving some line weight to it. So this is the basic things which are visible to us. Now whatever is not visible, those are all will be in the light lines. Okay? For this diagram also, since this is a circular object, it's better to divide the circle into, uh, say, eight number of equal parts. So select simply a straight line and use array option, go to the polar array and uh, select the object as the straight line and press enter, select the center as this is the center and uh, for 4 go for the 8, this is optimum, go for preview, this is good, then accept it, so this is good and now we will do the annotation now, so empty enter, I am giving it like this, say, say so 5 I am giving it, this is A, okay, uh, let us increase a little bit, say I am giving some 7, a this is B. I'll just copy all these things. C, D, E, F, G, and H. And the center point that is this apex point is also should be given. So let me give that is O. So this is O dash. This is one point. Here we'll be having two points. And here we'll be having two points. Here we'll be having two points. And this is one point. So simply we can draw the projection lines from these points also. Or the let the or the beyond like this. Here also we can draw the projection. So let me finish the names now. It will be easy for us to understand. C. This is D. This is E. This is F. This is F. This is G. And this is H. You can give numbers also. It's not a big deal. This is O. Now this one becomes O dash. It's almost like the cylinder case only. Just small difference will be there. That one we'll be discussing now. This is A dash. And this is B dash. H dash. This is C dash. G dash. This is D dash. F dash. And lastly this is E dash. Now here we have these imaginary lines also, those things also should be finished. See this thing, from this point until this one, and from there until this point. So these imaginary lines are also going to be drawn. So once this is drawn, here comes the main part. Uh, if you are talking about cylinder, simply we have drawn a straight line of this uh, circumference, that is pi d. In this case it is pi is uh, 3.14 and uh, d is 45. Simply we can go with uh, pi uh, into 45. And we can draw. Okay, well and good if it is 141. But this is not the case. We can't draw directly 141. Here we are talking about a cone. It is not a cylinder. If it is cylinder, simply we can have a uh, like this rectangular portion and we can uh, divide it into eight parts here. Since this is a cone, we can't draw a straight uh, whatever this square, rectangle shape. We have to have some angle. For that we have a formula. The formula is 360 into r by l, where this r is the radius of the circle which is given in the question, and uh, l is the slanting length. That means this length. So, for that sake, what we have to do, we have to select the uh, angular dimension, that is this one, a line dimension, and it is how much? 78.3. So, 78.3 
into 45 divided by 2 that is the what is that a uh, uh, radius this is sorry this is 78.3 is not multiplication right this is division 360 into r by r no? so uh, what is that 22.5 that is a uh, radius divided by what is this whole word 78.3 78.3 is equal to so this much into 360 is equal to 103.448 103.5 suppose so 103.5 is the angle which you have got here write down this one so this is 360 into r by l where this l is the slanting length not the axis length that is very much important we have to remember this we should not take the axis length if it is axis this is 75 now we have to take the 78.3 that is slanting length not this thing so now i will simply copy this slanting length whatever i have selected copy it and paste it here like this and uh, I'll draw another line on this like this and select this line and rotate it with the angle you have obtained here this 360 into r by l it is 103.5 so this is 103.5 rotation so now draw uh, so one thing i'll select these two things and move it a little bit down so that it will be good so now select a circle and draw a circle like this and uh, edit or the trim unnecessary part this is left out so this is the angular whatever the paper which is there around this or the surface which is there around this cone so once this is done simply select this or use the division command div and select this and divide it into how many parts eight parts because here we have done eight parts now that is the reason here also we have to draw the eight parts it is not visible go to the format point style point style okay these are the parts now simply draw straight lines by using the line command so this is how you develop the surface of the cone but the question is like it is not uh, just develop the surface of the cone it is like yeah, they have cut this by using some plane the plane is of 30 degrees inclination with bisecting the axis so therefore here we will draw a straight line like this and uh, this particular straight line should be rotated with an angle of 30 degrees and uh, this line is bisecting the axis so we have to keep exactly at the midpoint so we, this this particular line is bisecting the axis that is what we have kept it here so now since it is bisecting totally whatever the objects is there those things can be projected downwards and whatever the points are there only those things will be hatched we will see that one later on now let us copy these points what are obtained here PO and this is first point we have two points PO and here we have two points here also we have two points here we have two points and here one point for understanding them clearly we can say that on O dash A dash we have P1 on O dash B dash we have P2 on O dash H dash we have another P8 on O dash C dash we have P3 on O dash D dash P4 on O dash E dash P5 on O dash uh, F dash P6 O dash G is P7 and O dash H dash P8 these are the points which are there here those points can be copied here so now uh, come back to this uh, what is this obtained point where it is names let us give the names here so this is capital letters no so A copy this is B, C, D, E, F, G, H, again A, last point is A, so, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, this is G, and this is H, and finally we have uh, another one, this is, this is now simply whatever the points are there here those points can be traced here by using this length or we can simply we can use another technique so generally what we have to do is that we have to go with uh, dimensions so from this point to this point how much dimension is there those dimensions should be 47.35 so here from here to 47.35 we have to give a point that is how we have to go but instead of that we have another technique that is simply draw a circle select the circle command from this point to this point you draw a circle so select that circle and keep it at this point so now PO enter so this is on A P1 and here also we have pin so simply we can get these points by just drawing the circle here similarly draw a circle from this point to this point so now we are drawing this arc or the circle for what what points b dash and h dash points so we keep it here so we have to highlight the points on o dash ob and oh right so oh so these two points so now the circle is not needed delete it then come back to this point select the circle like this select the circle and copy it and here you paste it and PO enter, we are talking about C and G. So PO enter, this is C point and this is G point. Delete, not uh, C, C enter. 
from this point to this point we are talking to select the circuit and keep it here we are talking about d and f p go and up this is d and this is f and finally last we are talking about e circuit so from this point to e circuit so select that circuit copy and paste it p go and up so this is the e board once this is finished you can remove the circuit so simply we are calculating the these things also on the every dot how much distance it is there that is also not calculated simply only the first for the angle calculations only the calculation is done now whatever these are all there will be connected by using a single polyline use polyline this is p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 it is not correctly selected so p7 p8 and lastly again p1. now all these lines should be used or drawn as a curve since this is a cone e and up Select this polyline and use fit option so that it is like a curve. Once this is done, again you use polyline command. Uh, instead of polyline, you go for the line itself because this curve is separately there. No? So from here also here, it's not necessary. Select this straight line, this straight line, this curve, and this curve, and give some line weight to it. So this is the curve which is obtained by cutting plane. The cutting plane angle also can be shown here. Cutting plane angle, this and this one, it is 30 degrees, and we know the diameter of the circuit. So this circle diameter is 45 that is also shown here and we know the axis so axis can also be shown here from there to there it is 75 that is also shown so and e and this is the final development of the circles uh, whatever the leftover thing is that the hatching is left out here so for hatching whatever the cut portion is there only that should be hatched for that we will draw the straight lines down so since there are many straight lines instead of uh, confusing I will use separate color I am using pink color I am drawing the projections of whatever the points which is obtained or the keep the other one this one is OA dash so on OA dash line I have kept the point then this one is on B and H so B and H until this line I have to select it select a straight line until B and H then this one is the same and here we have a uh, D and F on D and F and finally this is on E until this point so now uh, we are not able to find out this now. For that sake, what we'll do is that we'll take the midpoint directly. Go and somewhere here, somewhere here. So now, whatever the points are there, this is first point, this is second point, this is third point. Here also this point, and this point, and this. Point. So what are the points are obtained here? Those are all points. Uh, select uh, use polyline and join them by using angle correlative polyline. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, C and F. So whatever this point is there, and whatever the extension is there, that one I am removing it by using the trim option. Right? Now, now whatever the this internal thing is there, only that should be hatched. And uh, E and F. So select this and use fit. So here, this one is also there. Now what, use a H and F. Points. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right. So this all should be hatched. And, and angle is and say 31. Okay. So these are all the things which are to be hatched. I have hatched them all. I have hatched them all. So come back. Then enter here. See, this is the hatchet portion. Only the hatchet portion is like a cut out portion. It may be a little clumsy. So for that sake, what I'll do is go to the format point straight and change it to some free. So that it will look a little good. So this is the development of the surface of a cone. In this, uh, the very important point is that the formula, whatever we are using, it is 316 to R by L. In this, R is the radius of the circle and base circle, and L is the slant length, not the it is the slant length. It's not the axis length. That should be very much understood. And then the angle also should be shown here. That is from this point to this point. Whatever the angle is there, 103.5. That should also be shown. It is showing as 104. Reason is very simple. The dimension, the dimension straight, we are uh, primary in the primary units, the decimal precision is zero. So supposing you are keeping 0 0.00 okay and close, then it will be 103.5. So that is how uh, it will be shown. So that is 103.5. So, the end. so this is the development of the surface of the code. So only important lines which are visible to us, those things should be highlighted by using the line weight. Remaining is not necessary. So that is about the cone problem. Bye.